Let's start by talking about uh, your excitement to get this this season started. A native Texan, you've lived yeah. near here a while. Now you're kind of managing at home. How, how pumped up are you? Very excited. I'll probably uh, tomorrow night. I'll probably be the luckiest guy in the stadium. I think. I mean, growing up about four hours from here and and being able to be a part of this this organization for one and be a part of this group is a special moment. And, and I'm I'm going to beat myself in the head not to take a day for granted. What do you like most about this team from what you've been able to see of it so far? Well, there's a lot of talent from the, from the top to bottom. Even the, even the guys that will be, you know, the utility players, even the uh, 12th man in the bullpen, I mean, there'll be a lot of talent. I had about half this club last year in Myrtle Beach, and, and we, we were on a journey then, and it, it continues now. I mean, we've got a lot of work to do. Uh, expectations are high, obviously, with all the talent, with, with everyone that's here. But uh, understand that it'll be some bumps in the road, and we've got to iron them out. There's a bridge to gap between here and in Arlington. We've got to really focus on being here, being here, because it can be a distraction, you know, trying to get out of here yeah. as quick as he can and try to do too much and not worry about, you know, your process. Each player has a plan, and each player has to, you know, abide by that plan and, and move forward and deal with the adversity. Gallo, of course, is a headliner. He's out for a while, but um, how's he handling the injury, first of all? Well, he's I don't think he's happy about it, yeah. <laughs> obviously. And we're, you know, we're all wanting him to get on the field. He's he's anxious to get out there. I, I saw him today without the boot on, which was great. Okay. He's able to walk around without a boot, put some weight on it, which is great. Um, just we're just anxious, you know, obviously for him. We we, we want to be fully healthy. I mean, uh, anytime one part of the puzzle's out, you know, next man up. We've got uh, Gilda Rodriguez, who is a, a great individual for this club. He's going to be playing on uh, tomorrow night at third base. But uh, we miss Joey, and uh, Joey's been around the club. He was in the meeting today, our, our team meeting, and he's anxious to get going. How special is uh, Alfaro as a talent? Very special. He's got all the tools. Everything's there. You know, he, he just needs games. He just needs games. He's matured a lot. I think I, I saw him in thir 2013 when I rode as the outfield coordinator and going into Hickory and watching him. He's matured a great deal. The relationship with the, with the pitcher catcher now has gotten better. Uh, there's, there's still some things that he's got to iron out, but uh, he's on his way. It's how, exciting to have him. How would you describe yourself as a manager? Oh, man. Uh, passion for the game. Uh, competitive. Uh, I've got some pet peeves. that I, I, you got to play the game hard. I played the game hard. Uh, 11 years as a player in the minor leagues, didn't get to the big leagues. Uh, uh, and, and now as a manager, I know how it is to struggle. I, I, I'm very patient with, with, with physical mistakes. And some, at times, mental mistakes. But uh, just a passion for the game. Coming to the ballpark every day with with a drive, with a with a drive to, to be the best player you can possibly be. And that's my job, and that's our staff's job to make sure each player, I don't care if he's playing every day or not, gets a, gets for us to touch him and make him better. You've shown your uh, passion at times with your interaction with with umpires. Have you been surprised by how viral some of that stuff has gone? Uh, you know, <laughs> I don't know if surprising. You know, once with social media bounces around. It happens, and uh, I kind of shrug it off. Uh, total respect for all the umpires. I mean, they work hard. They've got a tough job. Uh, I just get I get involved in the game. Uh, maybe some of it can be for the fans. I think the fans <laughs> love it. But uh, but once again, it's not about me. It's just backing my team, backing my players, being there for them, and uh, and competing. I mean, a lot of times people ask, why do you do these things? And I'm like, I, I really don't know. It's nothing planned. It's just. Just part of the thing. I know I'm out of the game, so I might as well add a couple things to it and move on. So it's it's a lot of fun sometimes. Yeah, that's with all a... respect of, of the umpires and all respect with of the opponents, you know, you gotta you gotta make sure that's in your mindset. For any umpires who may be watching, the skip respects you. Respects Just keep that keep that in yeah. mind. We need I, I need calls. <laughs> We With that in mind, I think the, the stuff that people get a kick out of is not just everybody goes jaw to jaw, you know, nose to nose. Sure. But then to get creative with it, yeah. removing the jersey, removing yes. the shoes. The, so uh, the, I the should be in some sort of drama class or something <laughs> instead of here. I don't know. Nah. It's just, it's different. You know, I grew up watching Earl Weaver. I grew up watching Billy Martin. I, I still have that in my blood. Pete Rose was my favorite player, and they played hard, and they had a lot of passion in the game. Earl Weaver. I mean... Not that I'm emulating them or by any means, but you know when when, the, when they say play ball and first pitch is thrown, I mean it's on. I mean I'm not here goofing around. I mean I'm I'm locked in every pitch and trying to find a way for each player to get better. And then you know things happen after that. <laughs> Sliding into the to the bag actually that's yeah. th that's a nice touch. Uh, how, <laughs> how, 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 did that, how did that one come to your uh, to your mind? 
demonstrating a play. Sometimes I get carried away a little bit demonstrating a play. Probably shouldn't do it, but I do. <laughs> Just demonstrating the play. That's all that was. And the first slide wasn't good, so I had to re redo it. And the second slide, I thought it was pretty good. <laughs> so, but it's one of those things. What kind of reaction do you get from those closest to you after you have one of those tirades? You know, yeah, especially my my poor wife Candy has to deal with it, and it's uh, you know, she she has, you know asks me why, and I tell her right away. It's like it's just part of the gig. <laughs> but uh, but no, the, the you know I I get texts, I get calls, but I, I move on. The next day it's over. I, I I forget about it. Shake hands with the umpires. We move on. We move forward. Your players aware of these? Uh, have they caught oh, yeah. any of these on, online? Oh yeah. Oh, they they all know. They've been part of it. Last year they were part of it, so they know. But they know I have their backs. I just I, I don't want them doing it. See, if I can avoid them getting tossed, that's I've reached one goal of mine. The guys here. Have you got, have nope. you got any feedback yet from them having seen them in the past though? The guy, oh, guys yeah, in Frisco here. They think it's a little crazy, hilarious. <laughs> but it is what it is. Okay, big opener coming up. Tomorrow, what do you what do you hope to see from this team early on in the season? Well, I, I'm going to steal a, a little little motto, I guess, from Jeff Bannister. Show up. We're going to show up. We're going to play hard. We're going to come give you know hard 27 outs again. I'm repeating what he's saying because I hear it. I've heard it all spring training, and that's what we expect throughout the organization. Play hard. You know, respect the game, and whatever the results are, the results are. One game obviously doesn't mean anything, but. Uh, but it's a, it's a tone we have to set tomorrow night. Once the first pitch is thrown, everybody focus and, and get better every day.